we will, uh, if you take your seats, we will start. And if you, we start on time, we finish on time. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Masonic family, as this, at this time, we will ask you to rise to receive the grand, our 59th Grand Worthy Matron of the Grand Chapter, Order of the Eastern Star, for the jurisdiction of Virginia. Miss. Julia Jackson, who will be escorted by her brother, Wilbur Scott.
do it. And I don't tell them well. But I can honestly tell you I'm one of those old school brothers that remember the juke joints. And the days of Sam Cook himself. And boy, does that take you back many, many years. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend our Grand Lodge, our joint charity ball in the most worthful Prince Hall Grand Lodge in the jurisdiction of Virginia. I think that you have a very, very celebrated evening this, this evening, and I know that the hospitality outside was good, and I'm sure that you're going to appreciate the dinner. So with that, we'll get along with the program. Uh, before we start with the formal welcome, I'd like to bring up this time the invocation. Is Reverend Web Waverly Brown here? Is he present? Okay. Then, Reverend Jonathan Franklin, would you come forth, sir, and give the invocation? now in the name of Jesus that we come first and foremost just to say thank you. Thank you God for another uh, moment to, to share in space and time and eternity. Father we thank you tonight for giving us safe travel to this place and tonight God we pray that everything that's said and done tonight shall be pleasing in your eyesight. Give us the needed grace to continue to run this race. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we have just a little different twist on the uh, welcome. Uh, we would like to bring up the Wilsons. Donald S. Wilson, our right worshipful deputy grandmaster, and Sandra Wilson, the grand associate major, to give the welcome and the greeting. We welcome you. Welcome. 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 And enjoy. Thank you. Wow. How was that for a welcome? All right. It, it does, before we continue on with the program, it is my duties and responsibilities at that time to establish protocol. To the most worshipful Grand Master, the Honorable Richard Town. To the right worshipful Deputy Grand Master, Donald S. Wilson. To the Grand Worthy Matron, G. Sylvia Jackson. And we still gonna put the G out there. <laughs> to the Grand, <clears throat> excuse me, to the Grand Worthy Patron, Curtis Holland. Grand Lodge officers present and past. Grand Chapter, officers present and past, brethren of the craft, sisters and brothers of the Order of the Eastern Star, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. The 
despite what the program says, it says that uh, your Toastmaster is Beverly M. Morgan, right where school senior grand ward. I'm not sure I know who that guy is, but folks who know me know me by Butch Morgan. So what protocol has been established for our most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia and the Grand Chapter Order of the Eastern Star 2019 Joint Charity Ball. Before we start in, we will have our, we need the blessing of the food. And I'd like to call on uh, Reverend Jonathan Franklin again to bless the food. Let us pray. Precious and most gracious Father, we thank you now for this opportunity to uh, break bread with our brethren and sisters. Father, now bless the food that have been prepared and bless the hand that have prepared it. May it be nourishment to our body and as we give thanks and praise unto thee. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And before we begin to, to dine, we need to go back and recognize our officers of the Grand Lodge, the Grand Chapter and the Grand Lodge officers. I would like to ask Cynthia Martin, the Grand Chapter Secretary, would you come forth and grant and do recognition? Our grand associate conductor, Gwendolyn Davis. Our grand secretary, yours truly. Our grand warden, Lithonia Merck. Will all executive board members please stand? Will all our endowment board members please stand? Will our grand lecturer of the East and the West? Will all past grand and honorary matrons and patrons please stand? Will all our grand stop points? All our grand flag bearers? All our grand trustees? All grand marshals? Our grand state youth coordinator and her assistants? And all grand district deputy organizers and assistants, will you please stand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask our right worshipful grand secretary, Stevie R. Gray, to come up and give recognition for my grand law for our grand lodge. And will our grand CCFC please stand? I'm sorry, charges to my head and not my heart. Thank you. Yeah. Who is it? Good evening. Would all past appointed Grand Lodge officers to include past district deputy grand masters and their assistants please stand? Thank you. 
but I'll appoint it Grand Lodge officers to include District Deputy Grand, uh, Grand Masters and their assistants, please stand. Thank you. With the exception of the most worship past Grand Masters, all past elected Grand Lodge officers to include past elected members of the Board of Directors. Would you please stand? Uh, thank you. Right wish of Grand Director Walter Brown. Right wish of Grand Director Isaac Hughes. Right Wish of Grand Director Charles Jones. Right Wish of Grand Lecturer of the Eastern District, Curtis James. Most Wishful Past Grand Master Paige Cherry. Most Wishful Past Grand Master Roger Brown. All right. Most special past Grand Master member of the Board of Directors, Herman Everston. Are there any other past Grand Masters here? Shelton Most special past Grand Master Shelton Ridge. Right Wishful Junior Grand Diggers Antonio Pratt. Right Wishful Grand Secretary, that's me. <laughs> right Wishful Junior Grand Warden George Cutler. Our Master Ceremonies, Right Wishful Senior Grand Warden, Beverly Morgan Jr. Right Wishful Deputy Grand Master, Member of the Board of Directors, Tom Wilson. Good evening. And our Most Wishful Grand Master and Member of the Board of Directors, who will be introduced more formally, Bridget Towns. Thank you, you for having fun. Now we have put aside and did all the protocol. We did all the proper introductions and recognitions. We've had the blessings of the food. Now it's time to have the food served. So uh, sit back and enjoy your meal and listen, listen to some nice listening music by the no, uh, no other Charles Shelton. Thank you. given by Tanya Good, past Worthy Matron, and Linwood Jones, Worcester District Deputy Grand Master. Please come forward.
Good evening. I have the pleasure to highlight the charitable donations given by the Order of the Eastern Star of Virginia, where Grandworthy the Matron G. Sylvia Jackson is our leader. The Grand Chapter Order of the Eastern Star donated $159,451.13. Also, a uh, protocol has been established. The charity received from the appendant bodies was $9,601. Uh, charity received from the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of uh, the jurisdiction of Virginia was $347,797. Together, as the Prince Hall family, our grand total was over $500,000. <laughs> Thank you. And to all the brothers and sisters uh, here, there's no doubt about it, I know the Grand Master, his heart is filled with joy for the contributions that we have made throughout the year. So my hat's off to each and every one of you, and I know he's gonna ask you to give yourself a round of applause. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We are at that portion of the program, and more especially where the time for the MC is coming to an end. Because I, next, when I finish, I will bring up uh, the Grand Worthy Patron to introduce the Grand Worthy Matron. Right Worst will definitely Grand Master will come forth to introduce our Grand Master. So, with that said, and before I sit down, I, I, as grand lecturer, I always wanted to give a school, and at the end of that school, I was always hoping that you would be able to take one thing with you, at least one thing that you didn't know prior to coming in. And I would like to leave everyone with this story. It's called The Cross Room. The young man was at the end of his rope, seeing no way out, he dropped to his knees in prayer. Lord, can, I cannot go, he said. He said, I have a heavy cross to bear. The Lord replied, my son, if you can't bear its weight, just place your cross inside this room. Then open that door and pick out any cross you wish. The young man was full with relief and happiness and joy. Thank you, Lord. And he did as he was told. Upon entering the other door, he saw many crosses. Some so large that the tops were not visible. Then he spotted a teeny cross leaning against the wall, the far wall. I like this one, he said to the Lord. The Lord replied, My son, that is the cross you just bought in. <laughs> just a note, for all of you who think that you are going through something in your life right now, just know that someone else has a worse situation. Amen. Keep your head up. Everything will work itself out. There's no problem, grief, or care that cannot be solved with God and prayer. All right. Brothers and sisters, as I take my leave, at this time, I would like to bring up our grand worthy patient, Curtis Hall.
good evening to everyone. If there was any congratulations that I would say today, I would say to this Prince Hall family and everyone that contributed, give yourself another round of applause. Over 500, My grandworthy matron and I, we're still trying to figure out who gave that 13 cents. That's the only thing I asked her. Anyway, it is now my pleasure to introduce the 59th Grandworthy Matron of the Order of Eastern Star in and for the jurisdiction of Virginia. Her theme is bonding together to reach our destiny. With the Prince Hall family, please rise to receive her, G. Sylvia Jackson. and good. You may be seated. And thank you, Grandworthy Patron. And thank you, Roz, for letting me keep him because I will keep him <laughs> saying nice things like that about me. Again, good evening. You know, the act of giving without the expectation of something in return is the true definition of kindness. I want to thank all of you for being here this evening and being a part of this auspicious occasion of our joint charity ball. I am filled this evening with inspiration and hope. The highlight of this event is you, your sacrifices, there is an awesome lot of goodness in this room. You all have been amazing, making the world a better place through your many contributions and by your voluntary efforts. The simple truth is everything we do is because of you. Thank you for working so hard. A society without charity would be no society at all. We are here because you are a charitable organization dedicated to helping those in need. We have the power to improve the lives of others, to make positive changes in the communities and the world. Charity, you know, starts at home. Your generosity overflows into the lives of those around you and in need. Charities have been actively supported by the Order of the Eastern Star. Some examples are MCV Massey Cancer Research Project, Boys and Girls Clubs, scholarships, and the list goes on and on and on. There are numerous people to thank for their work in making this evening possible. The talented committee, the host and hostesses, the DJ, and you. So again, a big thank you for all you do, and let's make, let's get this party started. Let's celebrate. Celebration. He has served as large, district, and this jurisdiction with pride, dedication, and distinction. This young man has now ascended to the highest position in masonry as that of most worshipful Grand Master of the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia Free and Accepted Masons Incorporated. His journey has been long, hard, and challenging. He will focus on moving forward, on rebuilding from within. This young man is constantly working and toying with ideas that will move this jurisdiction to greater and higher heights. I ask that the Prince Hall family please rise. 
to receive our 80th most worshipful Grand Master and have for the jurisdiction of Virginia, the Honorable Richard Pound. Please hear me, young. afternoon to see so many, many smiling faces. You all look beautiful where I stand. Just a few things before I get into what I really want to say. Uh, we kind of did a little oversight on a couple of individuals. I want to thank Miss Barbara Williams. She is the state grand lord, lord, lady ruler for the Virginia Council of a Senate Order of the Golden Sirene, would you stand? Golden Sirene, I'm Also, we have Mrs. Cassandra Barnes. She's the most royal grand conductress. Is that right? Commanders. Commanders, I'm sorry. The most royal grand court of the Order of Sirenes for the Jewish Virginia. Past Grand Master Melvin Thorpe for the most worship uh, Prince Hall Grand Lodge for the Maryland Jewish Sticks in the back. Wave your hand. <laughs> we also have most worship past Grand Master uh, Shelton Reddick. He's the debit of the warrant for Tennessee. I will be still in here. I always like to recognize the a pen and adopted body, they are part of the Prince Hall family. We thank you for supporting this organization uh, and the most worship Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia. I want to say to the Grand Weather Matrons, Celia Jackson, Grand Weather Patron, Curtis Holland, to my right wish of Deputy Grand Master Donald Wilson, and to all that are similar. Once again, good afternoon. I would like didn't want to do it, but it might happen. <laughs> I would like to seize this opportunity to, to, to great, congratulate all of you uh, as we highlight the success of the Most Worship Prince Hall of Grand Lodge of Virginia and the Order of the Eastern Stars. In regards to the outstanding charity in which many groups have benefited, I will also say that this is a historic moment and a moment that we in a moment that we share together for eternity. Our donation this past calendar year has amounted to over $500,000. And I say again, you owe yourself a round of applause. I am honored to thank all sponsors, organizations, and private persons who care for the peoples in need of the state of Virginia and beyond the boundaries. Life is so beautiful. God presented us with this gift of life, not to suffer from what we can and have our rights. Helping our community is important, and what we do and have done at Masons and Eastern Stars. On paper, we could look at the status of how many people we are helping in this world, but in reality, as we continue our Thanksgiving program, operational Santa Claus, back to school drives, hurricane relief, scholarships, programs, and other programs specifies in very large. This speak of our dedication and helping others in need. Together, we will fulfill our duties and charity across the state of Virginia. We stand as a shining example of what, who we can become when we work together. As we continue to evolve to meet the times of the future, let us embrace new ideas, new ways of doing things, but also remember the rich tradition that we have built. Let us continue the process 
rebuilding from within through corporations and mutual respect. I wish to thank all for supporting this charity ball and the most worshipful Prince on Grand Lodge of Virginia. Truly, it's been an outstanding evening thus far. I've enjoyed myself and I look forward to fellowship with all of these smiling faces. And I, I will say this is the most worshipful Grand Master. I've been blessed to travel all over the state of Virginia. And I met some happy brothers across this state and our happy sisters. So I said to the Grand Wizard Major and Grand Wizard Patriot, you all are doing an outstanding job. When you have a whole state that is happy, we can accomplish anything that we say. You know, even though sometimes we have our own little spits back. But for the most part, Virginia is doing well. And we're going to continue to work out there. Um, we, we did something last Saturday at our board meeting that I was proud. We we approved ninety six thousand dollars in scholarship. That's almost a hundred thousand dollars in one year. But that's a testament for the hard work that you believe in educating our young kids. That's awesome. Also, want to say a couple of things. Uh, first of all, hospitality, once we finish, it is in 802. Please come up and fellowship with us. A couple of major events that I do want to just kind of highlight. Uh, we have a cookout that's going to be in the East, August the 10th, and the Prince Hall family, you are welcome. It's going to be at the Dale Royton Club, probably about 10 miles down the road. So come out and enjoy yourself. We're looking to have a great time. And on September the 12th, uh, this, this one is uh, kind of important to me. In our gospel singing program, we got the opportunity to have Marvin Sapp to come do our gospel singing program in September 4th. So we have tickets. Uh, see Beverly Butch Morgan. Okay, or Stevie Gray or Isaac Hughes. So we're looking to have a great gala of fab during our Grand Lodge session in September. Uh, to everyone, truly, it's been a blessed afternoon, and we thank you for supporting this charity for our ball and most worshipers on Grand Lodge of Virginia. So with that, I'm gonna ask you to rise. I'm gonna ask uh, Brother Franklin to come up and give us a benediction. <laughs> Shall we bow our heads? Father God, we thank you now at the close of this celebration. We thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and what our hearts have felt. Father, we thank you for blessing us to be able to give as we have in this past year. For we know that without your help, God, it would not be possible. Father, continue to bless our efforts. Bless our Grand Master. Bless all of our leadership and the heads that have ruled over us. Bless us to get back to our several separate destinations. Father, we pray now that everything that has been said and done here tonight has been pleasing in your eyesight. Now may the grace of the Lord and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit be with us now, henceforth and forevermore. Let all God's people say amen. Amen. amen.
Get it going, get it going, get it going. See, this is what it's 